Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And today we're going to be taking a look at the mini poly bag, Kai's mini dragon. This is set 30422, it's ages 6 to 12, and comes with 39 pieces. And of course it comes with Air Jitsu Kai, which we'll go ahead and take a look at first, and then we'll come back and look at the dragon. So here is a look at Air Jitsu Kai. He's pretty much the same as all the other um, Air Jitsu figures, um, other than he's just got the red printing for everything. He does come with these two shurikens, not a sword or anything. So just remember, this is a poly bag, so not a very big budget to give him nice weapons. Um, so go ahead and take the helmet off, or not helmet mask. You can see it's standard Kai face. Kind of wish we would have gotten the smiling one that came in the, what was it, the stone? No, it was the gift box. I kind of wish we would have gotten that face here since this is a poly bag and it's exclusive. So that would have been nice. So, uh, yeah, nothing nothing too much to say about Irujitsu Kai here. He is a nice figure. I do like the new Skybound figures. Although, I think it might be a little too much to ask that he might have gotten the shoulder pads, but maybe not. So, let's go ahead and take a look at Kai's mini dragon. Alright guys, so here is Kai's mini dragon. Um, it's, I mean, for a small set, this is an okay build. I mean, wings of fire, I guess, to kids, this is pretty cool. Um, but to older fans, this is like more a display thing or taking it apart for pieces because you, you, like, you can't even bend the legs back like you could on a normal dragon without it looking really awkward. So, as you can see, he can look like a dancing chicken. Yeah. And then of course there is a seat for Kai, which I think they should have moved one of these pieces and put it in the front, that way Kai was kind of sitting in the middle, because now the dragon would be front heavy and he would just fall and crack his neck. Um, but you can see he does have like the nice, some nice pieces. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the bag and the instructions for this set, and then I will tell you my thoughts. So here is the bagging for the set. Um, got all your information on the left. Skybound flag also on the left. Nice printing, which I think looks better on this bag than it did on the box for Cole's dragon. And then nice picture of the set. And on the back, just a bunch of warning information that I can guarantee you nobody reads. Uh, join the Woo Crew. Um, and then kids go free ticket to Legoland. So, and the nice thing is, you guys can't steal that, because it has to be physically in person. Haha. -ha. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the instructions, and then I'll tell you guys my thoughts. Here is the instruction manual for this set. It's pretty basic for, like, standard polybag builds. You can see it's the fold-out ones that is double-sided. Advertisement for the other Skybound sets on the bottom. You can see it just folds up, like that, and then you have that. So now, let's go ahead and I'll tell you guys my thoughts on this set. So here are my thoughts on this set. Um, if this set were ever to come into stores, um, like Target for $5, I would not buy it. I really wouldn't. Um, Kai would have to have something unique for me to buy it. I think since you're spending over $35 and it's free, that's great. Um, kids get it for free. You don't have to pay for it. Because um, most people go to the Lego store and spend over $35 anyway. And I think maybe if you spend like 32 or something, they'll probably just give it to you anyway because you're close enough to 35 So, um, yeah. I think this set um, would probably be a six because I think Kai needed to be more exclusive and they needed to change up the wings a little bit. So those are my thoughts on the set. If you guys enjoyed this review, leave a like, 
subscribe for more Lego Ninjago, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.